Hello students, welcome you all on your Pedia. So my dear students, if you are preparing for design and patent exams, in this video I am going to discuss one problem from the subject database management system. This is again an important problem, you may face the same problem in your exam and the problem statement is define the term, define the term attribute set closer. attribute set closer fine and what do you mean by equivalent of fd set equivalent of fd set see my dear students First of all, in this problem, actually two questions are there. One is we have to define the attribute set closure and then we have to discuss how to find or what do you mean by equivalent of two FD sets. Suppose two FD sets are given, then we have to check whether two FD sets are equivalent or not. So in this case, we have to start with the term, the first problem that is attribute set closure. What do we mean by attribute set closure? Basically, we define attribute set closure with the sign x plus. Fine my dear students. Now see, what is attribute set closure? It is set of all attribute. It is the set of all attribute which are derived by x, which are I can see uniquely derived. uniquely derived by x. We go with an example, C. Suppose we have a relation R with A, B, C. Fine, A, B, C attribute and the FD set given is A determine B and B determine C. Now our task is to find, our task is to find attribute set closure. Now if I find a closure means now tell me with the help of a attribute which what are the set of attributes which can I uniquely determine with the a a a determine b it means b a determine b b determine c it means c so a closure gives me a b c now if you go with the b closure it gives you only b and c because with b that is B and B only uniquely determine C. In the same manner, if you go with AB closure, that gives you A, B as it is, then A determine B, B determine C, transitive property C also. So now what is the use of these finding the attribute set closure? Mainly this is useful for finding the super keys of a relation R. Fine my dear students, so that is all about the term attribute set closure. So now the second problem is how to find out equivalent of FD set. See my dear students, if I find, if I want to find out, if I want to find out equivalent of two FD set, equivalent of two FD set. So how to find out equivalent of two FD set? It's very simple. See. Again, we go with an example because theory is already covered. I will discuss you the theory part also, but go with them some example. See, we have a relation R with A, B and C attribute. Fine. We have one FD set F that is A determine B and B determine C. And we have one more FD set that is suppose G. In that case, A determine B is there, B determine C is there and A determine C is there. Now my task is to check whether these two FD sets are equivalent or not. So how I check the two FD set are equivalent or not? In the simple mean, can I say if this FD is member of GFD set, this FD is member of this FD set, then I can say the FD set G covers every FD of FD set F. So in the same manner, if I say A determine B is member of this FD set, B determine C FD 
is member of this FD set and A determines C is member of this FD set. Then I can say yes G cover every FD of F. So our task is to find out is F covers G and G covers F. If yes then I can say both these FD sets are equivalent. Fine my dear students. Now to check to check see if I want to check that A determine B is a member of this FD set I want to check A determine B is a member of given G FD set then what I have to do what I have to do I have to find out the A closer the left hand side closer left hand side part closer with the help of these FD set fine because I want to know that is this FD is a member of this one or not. So if A closer I want to go with A closer A A determine B A determine C yes it means A uniquely determine B. It means A determine B is a part of or member of this FD set. Now to check B determine C is member of this FD set. So now again B closer B closer is B B determine C yes B uniquely determine C. In this way I can say the G FD set covers every FD of FD set F. In the same manner I have to check A determine B. A determine B. I am going to check this FD is member of this or not. Yes. Again find out the left hand side left closer attribute set closer with the help of these FD set A, A, B and C. Yes A determine B. Now check B determine C is present or not. B determine C. So find out the B closer. B is B. B determine C. That is yes. Now check A determine C. A determine C. So find out A closer. A is A, A determine B, A determine B, B determine C, transitive property C. Yes, A determine C. It means every FD of G are member of F, FD set F and every FD of F is member of G. It means F cover G as well as G covers F. It means both these FD sets are equivalent in nature. So you may face this type of problem in your like design and patent exam where you have to define the formal definitions of what do we mean by equivalent, what do we mean by F cover G, what do we mean by G cover F. You also have to define what do we mean by attribute set closer and then you have to take some example and with the help of example you have to de derive or define yes to FD set are equivalent or not. So all these stuffs are already given to you in the this PDF and you can download this PDF from your pedia.in URL. So define the term attribute set closer and the, all this reference is taken from the Navathe book. Fine. So for each such set of attribute X we determine the X closer. X plus means X closer of attribute that are functionally determined by X based on given FD set F. So that's why X that's why X plus is called the closer of X under FD set F. Fine. So we say that an attribute B is functionally determined by attribute A if A determined B or A uniquely determined D. To test whether a set is super key, we must devise an algorithm for computing the set, set of attribute functionally determined by L. So that's why we are using attribute set closer to calculate the super keys of our lessons. Fine my dear students. So this is an example again same taken from the Navathe book. Now how to check two FD sets are equivalent. What do you mean by FD set F cover G and FD set G cover F. Fine again here I am discussing about the two definitions. With that I am just taking an example the same way whatever we already discussed. So this, this is one of the important problems from the database management system where you have to define what do we mean by attribute set closer? What do we mean by equivalent of two FD set? In the upcoming videos, we go with some of the most important problems like normalization, like transaction, like recoverable or uh, I can say 2PL, all these stuff. Thank you so much. And if you want to join the dedicated batch for main exams, then you can reach out to your PDA. Thank you so much.